scripts and I'm not scripted. So that's how I always sold also. I didn't run off scripts, although I did have a few things that I said the same way every time to expect the same similar results. Yeah, that zero but, so what I would do is I touch base on, I know that you guys are overcoming a $80 a month raise from what people are coming so out so for the most part comparing to apples to apples. So that's why the presentation creates the value. Um, what I do about the 2020 escape is, um, first off, touch base that, hey, folks, this is the 2020 Escape. The Escape is one of the best selling small SUVs since it's been on the market. This here, you can see the Ford badge that sticks out strong. So what I want to do is I want to flow around the vehicle and keep it moving. So once again, it's not a lecture, right? It's a, a moving presentation because I'll keep the, the mind moving. What I like about this is it has the honeycomb grill. The reason for the honeycomb grill is, first off, it gives it styling, but also it's getting air induction for the 1.5 liter twin turbo three cylinder EcoBoost engine because EcoBoost is turbo technology. Turbos run off air, so this gives it a lot of airflow. So it gives it a bold look there. You've got the large wraparound headlights, which are going to give you security driving at night, give you more visibility. I also like the brushed finish down low here on the vehicle. So it gives it a powerful stance, but still very sporty. I like the inset of the fog lamps, as well as the body curves. Now this model right here has 18 inch alloy wheels. The nice thing about alloy wheels is they don't fit. And you do have the contrast gun fit, gun metal gray finish on the inside. This has an 18 inch Michelin tire. Michelin makes one of the best tires on the road. And the great thing about an 18 inch tire is it's one of the most common tire sizes. So if you do have to replace a tire, you're gonna be able to find a lot of different options and they aren't quite as expensive. Now depending on where you park at work, you can fold the mirrors in on this vehicle on both sides. So if you're parking in a tight space or at your, your place of residence, you're in a tight space, you do have that. If you folks wanna come over and follow me here. You've got, let's go right back here. You've got the blind spot in the mirror. So what that does is when there's somebody in your blind spot, this little light here will turn amber, which will alert you and also alert the driver who is in your blind spot that you are in their blind spot. Ford has, is the only vehicle that has a keyless entry keypad. It comes with a five digit code from the factory. You can change that code. The factory code will also always work. I like this because if you're going to the gym, you're going for a hike, you're going for a bike ride, you can just leave your keys in there. When you get done, you've got the door code right here. You can see body colored handles. Everything. What I really like about the inside of this vehicle is although it's a small SUV, the interior features are like a luxury vehicle. You have the perforated leather seats, contrast stitching, lumbar support on the back, you have a 10-way power seat, including power lumbar. Now, whether your passenger or your driver is tall, short, heavy, or slim, you do have the tilt telescopic steering wheel. So therefore, they can adjust it accordingly, that they can get comfortable, and they don't have to be right on the steering wheel, or they can stretch back. This has memory seats, so if you have multiple drivers with the height difference, you can set that one for the primary driver, two for the secondary driver, and even a third driver. One and two, you can also program to your keyless entry key fob. So when you start the vehicle with your remote start or you get in the vehicle and push start, it'll automatically go there. Pretty standard features, power windows, power mirrors. This vehicle has side airbags. What side airbags do is in the event of a side <laughs> collision, they will expand and they will protect your torso you also have safety curtain airbags. Once again, in the event of a collision, those will drop to keep your head from smacking into the window and getting a concussion. Very nice leather wrap steering wheel. And at the 10-3 position, you have your radio controls, temperature controls, Bluetooth controls, all right here. So at the very fact, yes, you do not have to pull your eyes off the road to adjust your controls. A very nice, clean eight inch navigation system. You do have the LED backlit message center. 
along with some traditional gauges that will give you your fuel, miles per gallon, or miles per hour, temperature, and RPMs. This has dual temperature control, so the driver and front passenger can have their own temperature, and it will also give you a digital reading. Ford went to the new shift lever transmission, works the same as other transmissions. It is just now a knob. Radio controls are right here. You have four vents. If you are getting too warm or too cold, you can close those vents off right here if needs be. Cup holders here. You've got the charging pad right here. A 12 volt and auxiliary plug-ins right here also. If you look inside here, you've got a nice size center console. The top is leather wrapped with the contrast stitching, gives it nice styling. And another auxiliary port in there for make sure that you can keep all your technology charging. Now if we look at the back, for a small SUV, now on the 2020 Escape, what they were able to do with this model, a lot of my customers think that it looks smaller than previous models, but this model is actually, it's been completely redesigned. It's, it's lower to give it more like a car ride feel. It's wider to give it a more stable ride, and it's actually longer, which gives you more cargo space. If you look in the back, I was plenty comfortable up front. I'm not super tall, just shy of six foot, but I have plenty of leg room back here. You have the armrest right here in case the kids are giving you a hard time. You have the rear heat and air vents, so you don't have to melt or freeze yourself and your front passenger to keep the other people in the back <coughs> comfortable. You can also recline the seat for a long drive for comfort for your passengers. Now, if you just hit this head restraint right here, sorry, Mitchell, that will drop that. You can pull this lever. It gives you nearly a flat low floor. This has the power lift gate. And you can see lots of storage. It's a 60 40 split, so you can either have both seats down, or you can have the 60% of the seat down, or the 40% of the seat down, and still have a rear passenger. You have a nearly full size spare tire right here. You might be wondering what that little nozzle is right there. If you come over here and push on the gas door, it's just a push in. You have the easy fuel capless fuel tank. So that's very nice. You can see the styling on this, very bold and aggressive tail lights. Once again, add visibility to those people behind you. This has the optional two liter um, two liter, four cylinder EcoBoost engine that puts out over 250 horsepower. This uh, class three trailer tow also comes with the four pin wiring, which will give you up to 3,500 pounds of towing capability. You just hit this right here, the gate will come down. This also has reverse sensing. What I, I really like how they put the badge in here to really make the brand stick out and add a, a, an elegant look to it. Ford's really good about branding. I don't know if you knew Ford has been around for 117 years. So the company's definitely been around for a long time serving our country. Reverse sensing, you also have the plastic padding right here. So if you are putting things in or taking them out, you don't have to worry about scuffing the finish. As I said, this has the two liter EcoBoost 250 horsepower with an eight speed automatic transmission. What that does is that gives you smaller shift bands. It therefore gives you a smoother ride and more efficient gas mileage. This is a all wheel drive model. That's an intelligent all wheel drive. It runs on front wheel drive. If it senses any slippage, it will transfer the power accordingly. Follow me. Now this model right here has the bigger engine with 250 horsepower. It's rated at 23 miles per gallon in the city, 31 on the highway, 26 combined. That's very impressive for the fact that it has 250 horsepower and is an all-wheel drive model. Do me a favor and take a seat in there. You're tall, Will. There we go. No, man. How's that feel? And that feels yep. good. As I said, I'm just nearly, I'm just under six foot. I have plenty of leg room, so you can easily fit four size adults comfortably. Another thing I really like about this vehicle is the contrast interior. 
you have the light cream color with the charcoal that really gives it that bold, that bold look that really makes the vehicle pop. You see the lower panels are dark with some cream, and then you have the cream headliner. Sunglass, eyeglass holder up there, pretty standard. Vanity mirrors will pop up. If you need to, you can adjust them to keep the sun out of your eyes or out of your passenger's eyes. Once again, the new 2020 Ford Escape SEL with the all-wheel drive and 2-liter, 250 horsepower EcoBoost engine.